you know, it's just best that I keep faithful to uploading parts. I mean, like, with Minecraft multiplayer, obviously that's gonna be ongoing forever, because, like, we're always doing multiplayer Minecraft. I mean, like, I haven't recorded one in a while, but I might. So, because my girlfriend's going to work later, so I might get onto the server and see if a few of the guys want to join. Now, this here I questioned before, there's no door anywhere, so how exactly did I get in here if this is the only way through? And that goes down. Uh, that's some supernatural shit right there. This part here kind of reminded me of an old monster movie. I'm gonna get nice and up close to this, because I don't think she actually kills you if you're standing here, because she just appears after she comes out. That actually got me very anxious. <laughs> And the door to my right is locked at the moment. That's where you get out. I actually had an issue at one point where the uh, that ghost girl that was in the bed was like stuck on the wall here. So every time I tried to get into that door, I'd be too close and she'd get me. <laughs> Hopefully that doesn't happen this time. This just leads to a, uh, a wall. This leads to a pretty creepy room. This is where we're going though. Oh, <laughs> when you look in the mirror, something's supposed to happen, and I'm like running into the actual like things that are there. And you're supposed to look into the mirror, and you get like all these creatures. You know, I was running up against some of them here. Like, I ran up against that one, and then there was, like, this guy here that I ran up against. So, yeah, some of these images are pretty gruesome. So, yeah, as you'll see, there's three boxes at the top. What we're supposed to do is find these tables here and stand in front of them for long enough for one of the flames to ignite in the box. Um, you, uh, what the? hell is going on? Oh, okay. I don't know why it feels like I was sunk into the floor. That was a bit weird. As you can tell, you can hear her just kind of in the background there. Another one. No, none of these guys actually hurt you. They're just there. I guess the activators for these are just weird. So yeah, once you do that, you're supposed to follow the light. Don't worry about if you're missing anything beyond other doors. It's just the same... ...stuff. Crap, I didn't even see her there. 
You're not missing much, it's just a maze of like the same halls pretty well. But I don't know if she's supposed to be disappearing like that, but... Yeah. So now we go through this door. It's being real buggy right now, I don't know why. Huh. This part took a while as well because I couldn't figure what the hell I was supposed to do. Alright, now we're on to the last part. Um, when I first initially got here, I was extremely confused, because all I had was, like, these orbs of light. And I just assumed I was supposed to follow them. But you'll see in a second what else happens here. Actually, I might stay on this one. Actually, no, I don't think I can, can I? As you can see, there's a timer. Now, my initial reaction was just to run from this head here. Did, did, did she... What? Oh, crap. Run! And when you hear that crackling, that means the head's on its way. There it is, there. You, what you need to do is wait for it to get close to you and you make it run into these light orbs and you just basically do that until the timer runs down Where's the hand over there? That thing comes up and grabs a, a random light orb. It's best to stick to at least two different light orbs just in case. And always go for the closer one no matter how far it is from the rest of them. Because that's the only thing that'll save your ass. Where is it? Head's pretty freaky. I'm hoping this thing doesn't disappear by the next time it pops up. Oh, perfect. Good. But yeah, like when I first did this, I couldn't figure out for the life of me what the hell I was supposed to do. Because it was not very explanatory. Which was kind of shitty. Oh, fuck. Oh, you fucker! You bastard! It's fucking moving! I'm fucked! Not even fair! Yeah, I'm fucked. It just got me. Oh, fuck! Okay, come eat me. 
treat me. That's why you had that's why you should stick to close clumps of orbs in case that ever happens. So then you can run to the, the next nearest one and potentially hopefully be safe. Yeah, I don't feel like risking trying to put that in front of that other one. It's too close to it already. Fuck, this one doesn't fuck me over. Oh, unless the time runs out first. That's better. I, I had a feeling it was gonna be this round. But yeah, you're not gonna see most of what I went through, but... Oh my god. It's one of them, the thing started moving as I had it lined up, and it missed it. And... It ended up catching me, and I mean, like, if, if it gets past that, there's no point in trying to run to another one, because you don't have the speed to get there. There's no run function. And then the second time around, I was running through one, and I ran right through past it. And when I turned around, it somehow managed to make it through it and start heading towards me, even though I went directly underneath the thing. There was no reason that should have happened. Oh my god, I don't even have time to fucking wait. So, essentially, the, um, the answer's ending. You find a, a sheet of paper. It just kind of tells you it's it's all done with and it's too late, she's gone, you know, and whatnot. And the girl pops up and you exit the little cab and you find it in. So I guess we'll see what the exit ending is like. I'd, I'd say that's just a little bit bullcrap because I mean like one of the achievements is if you get the answers ending So it kind of makes you want to take the answers ending and there's no achievement that I can see for the exit ending So I mean like why would you want to go that way if you can get an achievement for the other, you know? Wow, how far out is this exit? See what the exit ending has in store for us. After a couple days, Detective was found in the road. He was walking and mumbling something. Nobody couldn't get anything from him. He died in, in mental clinic a couple months later. After some time, people started mysteriously disappearing in this area. Some people say there was a demon attacking people. Nobody can say for sure what horrifying things could happen in the future. A game by Oleg Kazkov. Press any key to exit the main menu. Thank you. So yeah, that's the tape. Um, there's actually bonus levels here. Uh, I may do those as separate videos. I'm not sure, but uh, yeah, that's that's the tape. I thought it was a pretty good game, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Until next time, and the time after that. See you guys later.